morning, everybody. Welcome back to Mop Pop Sports. And you guys know I love sports gambling and got to talk a little bit about the NFL and gambling again. Uh, looks like another story's coming out that Isaiah Rogers, cornerback for the Indianapolis Colts, most likely is going to be suspended for the year. Now, no matter what your thoughts are or my thoughts are, this is, you know, uh, about gambling. It's I'm, I'm not going to put more high ground on anybody i'm not going to judge anybody uh because i wouldn't want to be judged myself in that sense i like to live my own life and do my own thing as an adult however if you're betting on nfl games and you're an nfl player i mean it doesn't take much common sense to realize that's probably frowned upon you shouldn't do that guys so nfl is making a stance now they are you know re-emphasizing to all the players rookies everybody don't bet on your games don't bet on nfl games don't be gambling at your facility don't be gambling at any facilities near the nfl don't be playing fantasy football uh and don't bet on your own games so this is the thing um isaiah rogers it looks like he was under investigation most likely he will be suspended for the year minimum uh he was betting on cult games so that's that's a really big no-no on top of, you know, gambling itself to bet on the game that you partake in or no insider information or anything like that. Um, like I said, I, I'm not going to put, I, I love sports gambling. It's just entertainment factor to me. However, this is going a little bit further because I feel like, you know, he's, he's got information that none of us general public knows, none of the book makers sport odd makers you know no um it it's really ruining the integrity of the game in that sense now i understand nfl is open a can dealing with you know draft king caesars mgm all those guys I, I i totally understand that they this is part of the nature however now this is really getting a little serious in a sense where it can affect um outcomes of the games because of guys who have this is technically insider trading simple as that man and my thoughts are one year suspension is that enough i mean it depends on on the infraction i mean did he bet knowingly certain things were going to happen did he have a impact on the outcome of the game like was he betting against his team was he betting for his team you know things that he could impact so uh, my thoughts are is one year enough because this thing, if you want to deter NFL players from betting or being a part of a gambling scheme or anything like that, if you, if you want to, you know, save the integrity of the game, uh, in my eyes, you should make the punishment way more intense. So you should tell every player, every, you know, whether, uh, rookie or non-rookie look you get caught once not only do you get a season you, i wouldn't even give a season you know what you want to give them a lifetime ban f it <laughs> give them a lifetime ban simple as that there if if ands no buts about it if you bet on nfl games simple as that if you want to deter these guys from gambling i i, I understand uh, uh of you know giving people second chances and everything but this is different this is one of those things where look guys you can't do this simple as that you want to save integrity of the game you banned them for life it's simple as that if you ban them for life no longer pay you make the punishment so severe that they do not want to bet or or be a part of this gambling scheme it's simple guys um however will they do that or not we shall see uh understandable he's going to get a one year and, and i wholeheartedly agree with that especially if he has the you know the chance to affect the outcome of the game and, and the numbers then. So there you guys go. I, I heard there's going to be more. Uh, there's going to be more. It's one of those things where it's a rapid thing. Gambling is definitely associated with sports and it's going to be. That's not going away. So everybody in our high horse who, who don't like gambling, who think this is the horrible for the sport, you can think whatever you want to think. It's not going away. It's going to be part of the game. Uh, so we're going to have to deal with it. However, my thoughts are to deal with it you got to make the punishment so severe that they don't even want to touch it. I mean, you would think that these guys have learned a lesson, especially when Calvin Ridley, you guys understand this. He lost over $11 million for fucking gambling, dude. It's simple as that. And he was betting a couple thousand dollars. If people have not learned their lesson by seeing what happened to him, you got to make the punishment so severe that it that's it. Their career is completely done. You, you, you touch gambling or, or anything like that in your sport. 
you are done. That's my thoughts. I don't know. It might be a little bit too severe. Some people might say, but hey, if you want to clean up the sport, you want to save the integrity of the game, it is what it is. Other than that, you guys like this shit? Subscribe. <laughs>